Hi, welcome back to NHS Hack Day Cardiff 2018. This is our 19th NHS Hack Day and I am just talking to Matthew Meader who's a developer with NHS Wales Informatics Service who I also work for. Uh, so Matthew, what brought you along today to NHS Hack Day? Um, I came along really to see what everyone's views are for the future of, of NHS Informatics really, mm. to see what uh, what everyone's thoughts are and what's on the horizon. What's on the horizon, really? Yeah, yeah. really interesting. <laughs> so, what, how did you hear about the Hack Day? Um, I heard about the Hack Day. Um, I saw it online, really. Yeah. Um, it's the first one I've been to. Yeah. And I thought it'd be, like I said, it's a great place to get to know where everyone's thoughts are, and not yeah. necessarily everyone who is NHS staff. Absolutely. But everyone who is a programmer or yeah. be it any who has an interest in IT yeah. where they want to see the NHS go. Yeah. Really. So what project did you end up working on today? I worked uh, on the diabetes um, dashboard. Yeah. Um, it's work that's currently done by um, a system called Night Scout. Uh -huh. It's um, basically um, it says like sensors on your body yeah. for patients who are diabetic. And then that, that data will get sent to Night Scout Data Centre, mm -hmm. which it's, um, users then can log onto the site to actually see on charts, mm -hmm. for example, the glucose levels if the patient is um, hypo or mm -hmm. hyper, hypoglycemic, and can monitor their own the glucose levels. Uh, for the future, what they what they would like really because at the moment it has each individual patient has their own database mm -hmm. uh, they would like to try and share that data with like everyone else really like to, to clinicians primarily so we're today we're trying to make a dashboard for that so clinicians can actually see a list of patients and see their glucose levels like hopefully live as the main aim sure but um, we know that that may not be possible sure. <laughs> here in the next <laughs> two, so two what, days. So what made you interested in working on that project? Or? Um, it was just interesting. Um, a few of us kind of got together and we thought yeah, we could make, um, you could, could, could make a difference in this, this particular project. Well, you so. thought your skills would line up with what was, yeah. what was needed. Yeah. Um, and you said you've not, you've not been to Hack Day before and they're all no. kind of run in <laughs> different ways and things. How did you find the process of the way that we kind of went um, through? It was a good wel welcome. Um, we, Everyone came in, kind of got chatting, yeah. kind of, uh, got to know people before we kind of got into the main hall, yeah, good. Uh, the main lecture theatre, yeah. And it was a great way to sit down and hear everyone's pitches first, yeah. So kind of got a bit of a feel of what what the day is going to play, know, out, gonna like, play yeah. out like, and then it was great to then be able to pick your own group, which where which one I kind of interests you the most, yeah. So it's completely different, obviously, to like day-to-day -day work. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a set thing usually, but no, this is quite you know nice yeah. and open. And yeah, and you can yeah. people are pretty free. You can be working on something, and then go off and do something else, or yeah, yeah, yeah help out. Kind of like you, yeah. People are com <laughs> coming in and out of different projects. Yeah. So, have you any advice, or what would you say to other people that are thinking about coming um, to Hack Day? Well, if you're interested in IT um, or any aspect of the NHS, when you think that you have an idea, yeah. just, just come along and pitch an idea and then everyone here is quite friendly everyone will come and help you really yeah um, it's brilliant. brilliant great well thank you very much for coming you're really Cheers. welcome thank, thank you, you. thank you <laughs>